What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Son of a Tech once again, and welcome back to yet another video. Today, we are going to be asking and answering the simple question which light hash rate miner is the best for mining Ethereum on hash rate locked NVIDIA GPUs? We're going to get into it right after a word from our sponsor. Today's sponsor is myself. To support the channel, click the join button below the video and you will get access to our privately hosted Rocket Chat. Selecting the $1.99 option will get you access, and after that, you need to head over to the Membership tab, scroll down, and expand out your membership perks. Find the section for connecting on social media, and in that section, there will be a secret registration URL to join Rocket Chat, where you can sign up to enjoy talking with other cryptocurrency enthusiasts and miners without spammers, scammers, or bots. Welcome back. So if you guys aren't aware, essentially there are miners releasing that have some sort of unlock rate for NVIDIA GPUs that are light hash rate. So right now there are three that I'm aware of. If I miss any, let me know in the comment section below because I would love to test other miners as well. And they are going to be NB Miner. The particular version for this is going to be 39.5. LOL Miner, particular version for this will be 1.33 in today's testing, and T-Rex Miner, which is going to be version 0.24.2 in the testing for today. I'll leave links down to them down in the description below so you can get to them from there and choose whichever one suits your fancy. Now we will be testing with NVIDIA driver version 472.12, which is the latest for Windows. We will be testing on a Windows machine, which is on my test bench back here, which includes an 11900K, 16 gigabytes of DDR4 clocked at 3600 megahertz, and you know, an NVMe drive. We'll be running it on the actual rails, so the by 16 PCI rails to make sure that there is nothing funky going on between, of course, any risers, etc. So I want to make that clear as well. The two GPUs we're going to be testing are both 3060s. The primary difference being that one is version two of light hash rate and one is version one of light hash rate. Now, if you guys aren't familiar, the 3060 was the first GPU to be limited uh, via the light hash rate technology that NVIDIA deployed on these GPUs. And you can get around it by using a leaked developer driver from NVIDIA on Windows at least. So keep that in mind. If you have version ones, you probably want to use that instead of one of these. However, I wanted to test both of those just to have some sort of comparison between the two just in case so we can see how each miner is unlocking, etc. So the version two, which is going to be the latest model, is a PNY RTX 3060, and that will be under GPU zero uh, in the miner screenshots that we'll be showing. And the version one is going to be an MSI RTX 3060, which will be labeled as GPU one. Now, there is another difference here, and that is that the texture fill rates and the fill rate speeds are less on the later model, the PNY, and that PNY has a single eight pin additional power, while the MSI, which is the version one, has an eight pin and a six pin additional power, which in theory should give it an advantage, at least from power perspective, especially when you take into account that there is a little bit of a hardware outside of just power, but a little bit of a hardware advantage on the MSI as well. But that's primarily not going to affect uh, the memory performance, which seems to be identical between the two. So the only other thing there is the light hash rate version that we talked about. So hopping right into it, let's take a look at the numbers, starting with NB minor. So if we run NB minor, and this is version 39.5, we have essentially on the PNY, which is the version two model running at 28.57 mega hash a second out of the box. So another thing that I wanted to clarify is this is out of the box, meaning that we want to see if these miners are click and go for you guys right away. And unfortunately on NB miner out of the box does not unlock the hash rate for the V1 3060s you would need to go into the batch file to modify the batch file to unlock the hash rate for version 1 3060s. Of course, you probably wouldn't want to do that because you're probably running, like we said, the aforementioned developer driver to get the full hash rate out of these. It's just a note. So 
that one was only getting the 22 mega hash a second. So that is the numbers, of course, for NB minor. Let's take a look at, of course, the next one, which is LOL minor. And in LOL minor, we had slightly better numbers with 28 to 29 mega hash a second on the revision 2 GPU or 3060 and 29 mega hash a second on revision 1. They did get up to 30 mega hash a second about both. So they were both over what I was seeing with NB minor, even if the card was unlocked. So in this particular case, I would give the win to LOL minor here. The other thing that's nice about LOL minor is that it does support AMD GPUs. So if you're in a mixed rig right now, mixed rigs with light hash rate cards, the only option, if you want to mine ETH specifically, right? We're talking about ETH hash rate unlocks here, then you wouldn't want to be taking a look at LL, LOL minor. Now the latest entry into the light hash rate unlocks to, to date is going to be T-Rex minor, who has recently got in with of course their super awesome possibility of unlocking 100% of the hash rate via utilizing a 30% unlock rate on ETH while using the remaining 70% of the hash rate power on a different algorithm. But today we are only looking at Ethereum and the 68% or above unlocks. And I'm happy to state that essentially you get the same performance out of T-Rex that you would out of, of course, LOL Miner. Maybe a little bit lower. I gave both of them, tried to give both of them, you know, the same amount of time to get cranking. We are at 29.85 mega hash a second on the PNY, which is the revision two, and 29.83 mega hash a second on revision one. Now, so the quickest miner to adapt and tune in was T-Rex miner. The longest was, of course, LLL miner. And the short and then kind of in between was NB miner. What I mean by this is from the time you start the miner to the time it auto-tunes it with light hash rate unlock to the time it starts mining at its full potential. The one that took the longest was LOL miner. However, LOL miner did seem to be able to tune it in a little bit better, a little bit higher than the other two miners. So that's something to keep into account. Now, what would my recommendation be? At this point, I think we need a few more iterations of T-Rex Miner before this whole dual mining thing starts working reliably and consistently. While it does work and it's super impressive, I have had it be very, very inconsistent across GPUs. Definitely within the 3080 Ti, sometimes it works great, sometimes it doesn't. The light hash rate 3070s, it doesn't seem to work for at all right now. And so those are kind of the things you want to be taking a look at. Once again, if you're in a mixed rig, you're going to want to be taking a look at LOL Miner, and you can get that 70% unlock. And then NB Miner, while they were kind of the first for this unlock, they are falling behind. As far as their auto detection of version one, as well as their overall hash rate, is lower than both T Rex and, of course, uh, LOL Miner. So they're kind of falling behind. We'll have to see what happens on new revisions. Of course, all of these you can tweak to your till your heart's content, and maybe bump that NB Miner up to 71%, and maybe it'll work. Maybe it won't. If you want the quickest, easiest auto tune, quickest, easiest auto tune would be T Rex Miner, and then the most specific, I guess, the one that's going to get you the most hash rate without having to do anything is LOL Miner, and that's kind of what I'm seeing right now, and that's on, like I said, two different versions of, of the 3060. So that is it. That is where I'm going to sit. I'm going to be using LOL Miner specifically, and that will be on Hive OS personally. I will be playing with T-Rex Miner some more, but this is where I stand as of today, which is going to be, of course, October 11th, 2021. Let me know your results down in the comments section below. Let me know if you experienced the same thing or different things, and I'd love to hear that so we can share it with the community. Remember, we all can share our knowledge together. I don't know everything. I rely on the communities to help supply some of the information. And then I try to relay that information to y'all to the best of my ability. And that's why we're here. Thanks for watching. I will see you next Tuesday. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to see more. Also, you can check out this playlist for more content talking about cryptocurrency.